Hello, and welcome back to the Computational Genomics Lab. Today we are going to be going over the RNA-seq pipeline, where from reads to output, we are going to get a whole lab meeting worth of data from one pipeline. Um, and this is only possible due to a recent uh, revolution in, in data sciences, in my opinion, um, done by NF Core, um, where they have taken all the industry standard software for any type of seq, RNA-seq, attack-seq, chip-seq, and put it into a container, that's that Docker or Singularity container, and have has each step um, of all the different software you would need, different languages, and NextFlow will task manage all of those different processes, quality control them, and version control, so you have 100% reproducibility from a given pipeline. And so, just taking a step back of what is NF Core, um, it's basically a NextFlow is a language, task manager language we went over and have installed, um, that can do all of these processes. And previously you had to do them one at a time. You had to take your reads, align them to the genome, get that output, put it into another program to get a quantification of how many reads there were in certain genes, and then the next step, and the next step, and the next step. And that causes a lot of potential for error or irreproducibility. But now that has been solved, thanks to them, and it really will set uh, work for any type of seek um, you need to do. So let's let's take a look at this here. So here's all the resources NF Core has. Um, if we click here and view pipelines, you can see there are just tons of different uh, pipelines here. So your future research, any type of seek you need to do. What we're going to learn how to do is applicable to all of these pipelines. So this is a really powerful. Um, way of learning that we're going to learn one, we're going to learn a couple, and then you'll see, oh, this is actually really easy. I can do any type of seek, thanks to NF Core. If it wasn't for NF Core, none of this would be possible. So big shout out to NF Core. So we're going to go here and just look for RNA seq. Um, here it is. We have already 733 users who have said, good job, it's working well. Um, and if we click on it here, we'll go, they have a nice little tutorial. Um, I'll have the link in the description below. Uh, nice little tutorial is what's going to happen in this pipeline. And I love this little subway map here where it's showing you all the steps in an RNA-seq pipeline. So a bioinformatician used to have to do this one step at a time, and now you just hit run and it goes all the way through. But you do have to do a little bit of work ahead of time. And you have to read sort of what are the input files, and we're going to go over those each um, in a video. Um, but it's just wonderful documentation with hyperlinks here where we can see um, it's going to do fast QC. It's going to tell you how good your reads align to the genome, the quality of the reads, etc. This all really starts with a fast Q file. Um, that's the raw reads you're going to get from a sequencer that can be applied to any type of sequence analysis. Um, it's going to do DEC, some analysis for us. It's going to tell us which samples are more similar to each other. So this is absolutely amazing that we're going to run it and we're going to get data that you could present in a lab meeting. Um, and I think the most important thing here is to read the usage section um, here where it's going to tell you, okay, what do I need in order to do this? And so we're going to go through each one in a, different, in a separate video. But the first thing you need is a sample sheet. So that's shown here, and it tells you exactly what type of columns it wants, and we'll go through this. Um, it also needs a configuration file, a genome file, um, and some other inputs um, that we have all set up to go. Um, and then it tells you what type of output it's going to do. Um, and this is actually so cool, we should uh, just take a look at it here and you can see um, all the different data. So this, this is just an example run of the pipeline where it's going to tell you how many reads were duplicates. That's a bad thing usually. The quality score of the read along the length of the read, um, the complexity. It even tells you where um, they align in the genome, whether they align to mRNAs, long non-coding RNAs. Um, but as you can see, as I'm scrolling through this, you get tons of data just from doing your analysis. And typically, uh, normally, you wouldn't keep track of all this stuff. And it'll also tell you uh, all the versions that were run, what type of software. It gives you some analyses here, these beautiful looking plots, which we're, again, we're going to go over all this. But for now, I just want you to take home message is, these NF core pipelines are simply amazing. 
Um, the documentation is the most important thing. So we go to this introduction page here. Um, and and really you want to take some time to see what are these things so what other what is happening here so alignment and quantification let's say I want to know more about that I can click here and it's gonna say I'm using the program star okay well what is star you can click on that and it'll go to um, the github that contains that software and then it'll even tell you well you could choose this other aligner it's like a whole uh, class in and of itself, um, and each pipeline has this. Um, so I think the last sort of thing to, to sort of go over here is the version here. So right now it's on 3.14, and we installed NextFlow, and sometimes new versions are gonna need newer versions of NextFlow. NextFlow depends on Java, <laughs> and so sometimes you're gonna have to change things a little bit here and there, um, but we should be all set to go. Uh, we're up to date in the class right now, and um, but because of this, um, we're going to go back to 3.0 for our class, and we're going to go over the um, documentation that's needed um, for the pipeline um, for that one. But you can see it's a little ways back, and then for each version, it'll tell you, okay, what was going on there, so you can sort of compare and contrast what's been updated or what's been changed. Um, and usually they add new bells and whistles. Uh, but we're going to go back to one that I've uh, tested and, and run um, without a problem. So or I might change my mind and we might run the newest one. I'm not totally sure yet. <laughs> but you have all the choices here. And this is so easy because all you do is one command line. It goes to the GitHub for this that version of the pipeline and downloads all the data for you. Um, so that's really all I wanted to go over is the main thing is look at the usage file and the introduction because um, this is telling you things that are not flexible like it's going to say you have to give me this sample sheet um, and uh, the parameters here is also very important so it's going to tell you what kind of flags it's looking for so like the output directory is required okay so if you see a yellow line here means it's very important um, and there's not much that's essential but there's again tons of different ways you can tweak this and it'll all be recorded um, and documented for 100 percent reproducibility so now let's see what type of files we need to um, get this started all right we'll see you soon